Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Peter. I'm from a small country called Holland. You probably know it from the wooden shoes, the mills, and the weed. <laughs> I live in a small town called uh, Kampen, which is located in the northern part of Holland. I'm uh, 30 years old, going on 31, and I live together with my girlfriend and my dog, Yup. Um, my current occupation is that of a postal office clerk, basically sorting out mail and prepare to be sent off to delivered in town. This video is to let you guys know why do I ride, and that it's not as normal as you would think for me to hop on a motorcycle and do the stuff I do. Riding all day and doing dirt roads, and all the stuff I love to do. For me this is the first video with uh, narration and English is not my native language so please bear with me on that. Um, I'm really trying to do the best I can so bear with me. I was uh, born with a birth defect called the Tetralogy of Fellow um, which is a uh, heart disease. Um, uh, when I was uh, one years old I got my uh, heart repaired in, um, in Leiden. Um, I uh, virtually got no problems after that until I was like uh, 16 years old I think. Um, at that age I was um, experiencing some fatigue and um, some uh, rhythmic problems so um, I got hospitalized and uh, they gave me a um, uh, well, basically, a, uh, a pulse through my heart, which resetted my heart, and I got on to uh, uh, live a very comfortable life uh, until I was about 23, I think. Um, at that age, my uh, my valve was leaking so much that um, the doctors decided I needed a new valve. I could choose between a, a PIX valve or a, a mechanical valve. The, uh, the pig valve would last for like um, seven years they told me and the other one is uh, basically uh, a lifelong valve or at least that's what they told me it's, it, nowadays it's different I think but uh, then they told me it would last forever so I took the um, I took the other one the mechanical valve and it's, uh, it's doing its job uh, since 2009 um, after the um, surgery, uh, I got some problems, um, some rhythmic problems, some uh, palpitations, and some fatigue problems. The fatigue problems are the, the worst problems to be able to be honest. Um, but uh, more on that later. What is a tetralogy of fellow? Uh, I will call it TOF. From now on because that's uh, way way easier um, it consists of four problems the first one is a uh, narrowing of the pulmonary valve um, the second one is the uh, overriding aorta uh, which is obviously not good the third one is a hole between the two chambers of the heart and the last one is the right ventricle uh, which is more muscular than normal uh, so they can't do the job uh, like a normal person. What does it mean to have a TOF? The worst problem is the fatigue. This problem is always there and I need to arrange my life around it. If I don't, I end up ill and in bed. It's the most frustrating feeling there is. Uh, sometimes when I'm doing some walking or even riding a motorcycle, I get racy feeling. Uh, my heart pounds and skips some beats. This is a really weird feeling and I never get used to it. Uh, this is what the doctor calls uh, palpitations. They are not really dangerous, but they make me more fatigued than I already am. Um, I still have one year checkups. Um, I have one year checkups with my cardiologist, so that's not too bad. I do need to get my blood taken. Uh, this I need to make sure uh, that my blood is uh, thin enough so that it doesn't clot on the valve, but this is a minor hassle. And now on to the question, why do I ride? Um, in the year that I, uh, I got my uh, valve replaced, I was in the hospital and uh, I was in really bad shape. I, uh, I hit rock bottom basically. And um, 
I said to myself, I want to do something when I'm done with all this. When I'm done with, um, when I'm better, basically. So I saw, I saw some um, programs on Discovery Channel on building motorcycles. And, uh, it looked to me like I wanted to do that, but you know, not really. I wanted to ride motorcycles. So uh, in the year uh, 2010, I finally got my motorcycle license and I bought my first motorcycle. Uh, it was a Harm Davidson. Um, it was a really nice bike, but it had some problems. And um, because of the low rider position and because of the weight, it was really hard to uh, to ride for me personally. So I skipped. Uh, I, I sold the bike and got another uh, Harley Davidson, a Sportster. And about a year later. Uh, and after some uh, intense riding, basically the um, doctor said um, I had a rheumatoid arthritis. Um, I got to the point that I couldn't uh, ride anymore. Uh, my knees were hurting, my arms were hurting, my hands were hurting. So um, my uh, rheumatoid uh, doctor uh, gave me some new medicine. And, well, it took a long time, but um, I wasn't being able to uh, to ride in this uh, this year. So uh, what I, what we did was uh, I, I sold the uh, the Harley and I got um well I looked for a, a bike that I could drive. So um, after um, reviewing some bikes that I would like to get, I stuck with a, a Yamaha uh, Tenere or Tenere, whatever you call it. Um, it has a uh, upright position and um, well that doesn't strain my back and my hands or my uh, knees anymore. So uh, the year after that I got my uh, Tenere. I rode almost uh, six times as many uh, kilometers as I did on my Harley. And last year um, in December I met a guy at the gas station and he said uh, he basically owned the same bike as me uh, although a bit older but it's basically the same bike um, that there's a uh, group of people that uh, that have a uh, well basically it's a group of people that uses these bikes to go off-roading and with my um, handicaps it's hard to do that but I, I nevertheless I just um, I took his advice and, and got into the group and um, a couple of months ago I took my first off-road drive with this group and it was so awesome that I decided that um, I wanted to do this I, I, I really want to it's it's something that um, because of my handicap it's extra hard but it's so much fun to do and it gives me the um, it gives a smile on my face, but it gives me the, uh, the feeling that I have the power to do anything I, I, I can, I want, basically. And um, so, so that's really, it's really cool to do that and to be able to do that on this motorcycle. So um, two weeks ago, I bought a TT 600 RE uh, with some help of my, my girlfriend, and this is a uh, a real off-roading motorcycle and with this motorcycle I intend to go some hardcore off-roading trips um, and I did um, get some advice from my doctor and he said it's okay and I should try it and, um, not go with uh, really big jumps or uh, a longer stretch of time but just do it your way and uh, make sure you're safe uh, so you're yeah, basically I can do what I want and that's the, uh, that's the reason why I ride. So basically it's never let a handicap stop you from doing what you want to do. Do it in your own way and with your own rules. Thanks for watching my video and my story. Um, expect updates uh, very soon. I will make some more videos on uh, my own problems and my story and I make some more videos on how to begin with off-roading since I'm a beginner as well 
I'll make some more videos on uh, luggage, on gear, I will make some videos on my new motorcycle, I will do some riding on my Tenere, I will do some riding on my TT600, um, I will do some longer trips, uh, in the next two weeks I will go to Amsterdam and do an off-road in Amsterdam, so uh, check up on that later. Um, yeah, basically, uh, thanks for watching, guys.